Did you know that just a two degree change in water temperature can make fish stop biting? What's up everybody, Derek here. Whether you're saltwater fishing or freshwater fishing, understanding how fish react to the changes in water temperature can help you catch more fish. So in this episode, you're gonna learn how the changes in water temperature can have an impact on fish feeding behavior and learn the key differences between cold versus warm water when it comes to fish activity, their metabolism, and feeding pattern. So stick around because you don't want to miss this. Now in general, fish are cold-blooded and their metabolism depends on water temperature. So with that being said, let's look at how the changes in water temperature can affect their feeding behavior and activity. So in cold water, a fish's metabolism will slow down, causing them to eat less frequently and be less active. But in warmer water, their metabolism has the opposite effect. It increases, causing them to eat more frequently and become more active. However, if the water is too warm, then it can have a negative effect on their activity level. Here's how. So we're going to use an example here. Let's say that the current ambient air temperature right now here in Florida is 89 degrees, and it's been like that for the past couple weeks. But really right now, the current ambient air temperature is like 46 degrees, and it's freaking cold. But for this example, we're going to say 89 degrees. And let's say you're watching the Weather Channel, and the meteorologist says, over the next seven to 10 days here in the state of Florida, the ambient air temperature is going to reach a peak of about 98 degrees and plateau there and stay there for the next remaining weeks. And so that means it's going to be freaking hot. So currently you go outside, you take your water thermometer and you go out there and get a reading. And the reading you're getting is around 83 degrees with an 89 degree um, ambient air temperature. So 83 degree water temperature, that's pretty good. Fish are biting. And so let's say you wait a couple days, you wait a couple days, now uh, it's been in the 90s and you decide to go, go back out there and get another reading. Now you put your thermometer in the water and now you're getting a reading of about 90 to 92 degrees. All right, well that's a little bit extreme. That's, that's too warm for the fish. One of the disadvantages of fishing in extreme warm waters, let's say with temps above 90 degrees, is that the warmer the water, the less dissolved oxygen it will hold meaning that there's less circulating oxygen in the water. And because of this, it can have a negative effect on fish activity, in which it can limit a fish's ability to breathe and be more active. So at this time, fish aren't worried about moving around as much because they're trying to conserve their energy so that they can breathe more adequately. And believe me, I get that. Whew. Now y'all go ahead. I'm gonna wait this one out. And it is also during this time, you may notice that the bite is real slow. Now you know why. Now we're going to look at the different temperature ranges that certain fish species are more active in. So here's a chart I created to help give you some insight on fish species and their preferred temperature zones. Feel free to download this chart if you would like to use it as a reference guide when targeting a certain fish species. I'll put the link in the description below. Different fish species have different optimal temperature ranges for feeding. So the exact impact of temperature may vary depending on the fish species. Now here's a tip. The next time you're out shopping at your local hardware store, pick up a water temperature thermometer and throw it in your tackle box. That way the next time you're out fishing, you can check the water temperature and know which fish species are more likely to be active. Well, I hope this was helpful to you all and that you learned a thing or two. And remember, to catch more fish, pay attention to that water temperature. It's the secret ingredient for predicting fish feeding behavior. If you like this video, much love is appreciated if you hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click that bell to be notified so that you don't miss any new videos. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Peace.